Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So, it's uh, night time, kind of dark, so don't work on this thing too long tonight, but we're going to start the video off, we're going to pull the battery box off this tractor to get, to get ready to pull the rear cover off to replace the seals on a PTO pump. So, my father's pulled out the tray in the bottom of the battery, we're going to slide the seat off and I'm going to hook the PTO. I've seen better days. Amazing how dirty they get in here. All right. I only alert it. See if this will break them loose or not. I'll do the one. Or at least this, maybe I'm going to worry about twisting them off. That was a short bolt. This is actually working better than I was expecting. 50% done. Of course, it doesn't help the bolts are like a three quarters of an inch long. Yeah, look at that. Oops, lost the watch for that. Okay, here comes the battery box. There we go. I'm going to clean this up. It does have some rust on it, but it's actually not that bad. So, why replace it? It ain't got it. doesn't look like Swiss cheese yet, so we're good. Okay. Got some a mess of wiring here. What's left of it. So, yeah, we got that off. Um... So next is going to be unhooking the oil lines and yeah I think that's I'm hooking the oil lines pulling some bolts out there shouldn't be any oil in the rear end I'd rather use a skid steer tomorrow for that or something to pick it up so yeah when we come back we'll be pulling this off in daylight Okay, so it's the next day, and we got everything cleaned up, pretty decent. So we got to get uh, these oil lines out. You can see there's just bolts in here with washers that hold them. I pulled them out, and I, can, I already got that line out right there. We'll probably clean them up, put new O-rings on them and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to record everything because this will be a really long video. I stick a pry bar down in here and then I tap on out here with a hammer very lightly. I don't want to damage nothing. And I was able to get the other one to pop out. So we'll try that in this one. And I'll get some of these bolts taken out before the video comes back and then hopefully we'll be able to slide this whole rear cover off the transmission. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. We got skid steer holding it on a chain. 
hopefully at the right heights it should be able just to slide right out i got two bolts left we're going to take them out right now Hopefully, slide this right out of the transmission. And we're caught in an oil line. All right. And here we are. We got it out. Oh, that's going to be fun. Get that back in. So, I'm going to start the skid steer up quick. We're going to let it roll back a little bit so we can work on the other side of it. And here we are. So that's what I gotta get off. They call that a pump. Looks like I definitely should do some cleaning on this before I put it back in. And we're also gonna look at some things. That's not a good thing to see. So we're gonna kinda look inside the transmission a little bit with our light and uh, make sure there's no issues inside there. But yeah. So we'll come back when we get this a little closer to getting the, this pump apart. Ah, can't get there. All right, so here's what we got to get off. We got the bolts loose. There's a little gear in here. So I want to be careful. All right, so I'm going to attempt to lightly tap it with my hammer and pull it off. Hopefully it'll come off fairly easy. Oh, broke loose. I'm going to stop the video for a second here. Okay, we got it off. As you can tell, where's the camera on the phone? It's a little rusty. I'm not happy to see that. Um, it is what it is, I guess. But uh, my gear fell in the dirt when it came off so we're gonna have to take that back to parts cleaner get that cleaned up and I'm definitely gonna do some cleaning on this housing but we'll get it cleaned up and we'll put the seals in there and we'll put it back together so with that being said we'll be back in a minute with everything cleaned up and ready to go all right so I clean that up the best I can I am really not happy with that shaft um i don't know what the hell happened to this tractor but i'm hoping the seals will ride back here and right here where it is shiny if not we may be pulling this back off again in the future and replacing that shaft seems fairly snug um i got the housing cleaned out i got to put the seals in it yet um Clean it the best I could. I'm going to oil up the gear and where it spins down there when I get done. So we'll get the seals put in, get all this cleaned up, get everything sealed, and we'll bolt it back on. All right, so we're ready to put the back in. We've got the seals back in it. We have one with the lip facing in and the one with the lip facing out. You want the lips facing away from each other. 
So I'm going to put a little oil on the shaft here. I put a little bit of Smurf shit around the outside of it to seal it. I don't know if it's supposed to have anything on or not, but I put it on a thin enough layer to where it shouldn't harm anything. So I'm going to get, uh, find a place, a clean place, set this thing here. I'll be right back. Okay, so got the gear here, cleaned it up. I put a very thin layer of geese, grease on the brass bushing on the inside of it. I'm going to slide that on the shaft, which I also cleaned up. Pretty snug fit. Okay. Oh, shoot, I can't do that that way. Okay, no, that gear's got to come back off. Okay, yeah, it's so snug now, don't want to come off. Because the way this gear in here is designed, I have to put it on as I slide it together. So we'll leave that alone. So we'll get some oil here. We will oil up our uh, surface for the seals. Oil the shaft up a little bit so everything slides over it easier. I'm gonna throw a little bit on this shaft, just makes me feel better. Let's slide this on. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Right through the first seal, through the second seal. Okay. Now we're gonna take our gear and I'm gonna go to the other side. And this gear messes, mess, meshes into the shaft. So what I'm going to do, pull back just enough to get the gear started, get the splines lined up, and then everything lines up. And we're just tap her in very lightly onto the dowels. Okay, we'll put those four bolts in that hold this. Get them snugged up. We'll clean up any of our mess here from the gasket sealer. I'm going to wipe this cover out a little bit, get the gasket surfaces cleaned. I did not end up buying a gasket. I'm just going to use some blue gasket maker and try to keep it on the inside of everything so it don't smear out. And hopefully get this cover back on. So we'll be back in a minute. As you can tell, I'm back in the tractor. That was a bit of a project. I wasn't able to get any uh, video of it. I was trying to do it myself and I was having trouble getting the shaft lined up for the PTO inside the transmission. Luckily, my brother showed up and it made it easier. We got it in all the way. So it's bolted on. The gasket material maker that I use can get a chance to cure. And the next project is going to be the battery box. Getting that right around. And I got a few small projects on the back here that. I'm just going to like run the wire for it and I put the, uh, I got to do a little work on the brakes, nothing much. I'm just going to adjust them a little bit and get the pedals a little more moving easier. And then we'll probably just finish cleaning up where the floorboard goes. We'll put that back on and hopefully from here to the dash will be done. I've still got to pull the starter out, put the gas tank in the hood and get that set on. So we're definitely getting closer and that's basically down to having time to work on it now so <clears throat> I think I have everything I need to possibly get this tractor running um, so hopefully maybe over the next couple weeks I can take a little time here or there get working on it and maybe possibly next weekend I don't know but uh Definitely getting excited. Like to hear this thing run and possibly get it out and at least drive it around a little bit before winter sets in. So, um, yeah. And sometime here, we're going to pull the side cover off to get that PTO so it works right. Um, as of right now, the it won't engage in the side cover. So, I won't even know if it works until I can get that fixed. But I want to make sure there's no major problems with the engine. I want to make sure that uh, crack we fixed in the block is going to last for a couple years. So I'd like to get it out and get it warmed up a few times and uh, see if it'll hold up. So, so yeah, getting close. We're getting kind of excited. So 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep trying to put some out about this thing, get it done. Um, harvest season is getting close. We've actually just started a soybean harvest at work, and I think probably two or three weeks we should be starting it here at the home farm. So, so I hope you enjoy the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.